Hey guys, welcome back to Startup Central. So we have been producing a lot of videos about airdrops and while I'm trying to make other kind of videos, the airdrops just keep coming. This is airdrop season. And of course, uh, this is not gonna be the exception. This is an airdrop for an L1 in the Cosmos ecosystem and it's called VeraChain. You need to complete a few tasks to be eligible for this airdrop. They have announced that uh, actually they have a Galaxy page. So I'm gonna show you on my browser a step-to-step -step or step-by-step -step guide on what you need to do. So if that's something you are interested in, do like this video and subscribe to this channel. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so first things first, what is VeraChain? VeraChain again is an L1. Uh, but mostly their, their interface is a DEX. So it's a decentralized exchange and they're going to be asking us to perform a few uh, you know, swaps and all that stuff that you would do on a regular DEX uh, only on a testnet. So we're going to see the Galaxy page and uh, complete those tasks. And then I'm going to speak a little bit more about what to expect from this airdrop. So um, let's go to the browser, guys. Um, this is Verichain. This is their main website. They love bears, as you can see, and uh, they have this decentralized exchange. Then they have this governance page, and they speak about the main uh, stablecoin, the main token, sorry, uh, that is called Honey. Um, you could actually you know, browse this. They uh, speak about a lot of stuff, um, but this is not the page where we analyze, the video where we analyze what you can do on a particular blockchain. This is the video where we actually explore how to get this airdrop. So with that in mind, we will go to their Galaxy page. Now I'm going to link this page under the description of this video. So you can just go ahead and click on it and get here. Otherwise, you can just go to galaxy.com. Sorry, .com. Sorry, it's late. I'm just mixing Spanish and English. And um, find the project and then start clicking around. I think it's much easier if I provide you with that link. Uh, so I will do that. Um, so once we are here, uh, there are a few tasks that we need to complete. The first are social network tasks. Um, actually, this is the first part. Uh, let's go to the main, main page. Um, there are two, let's say, big areas that you need to complete. The first one is visit the bear chain faucet. So by clicking here, the project is going to ask you to bind your email address to your uh, wallet. So if you're not comfortable doing that, I would suggest to create a new wallet, sorry, a new email address to complete this quest. Now, more and more, these projects are asking you to link either your Twitter account, as you saw with Linea, or your email address or some other social to your wallet. And the reason why they're doing this is that they want to make sure that there are real humans uh, farming these airdrops and not cybers or bots. So by clicking here, the first thing that you're going to be asked is to enter your email address. They're going to send you a code. You enter the code and then you can click here and you're going to be sent to the faucet. Uh, so let's do that. So once you click your check in here, this is the faucet. All you need to do, guys, faucets are basically places that will give you free tokens. Now, these are testnet tokens, so they're not actually giving you real, uh, let's say, money. Uh, but you need to enter your wallet address and click to prove you're not a bot. That's all you need to do. And then click on drip the tokens. That's all you need to do. And then wait a little bit. It takes around 5 to 15 minutes to get your tokens. You will be assigned 0.05 testnet bearer. Now that might not be enough to complete the next tasks, but you can claim this every eight hours. If you enter your wallet address a second time before this eight hour period, it's going to tell you you have been gray listed and that you will be white listed again in eight hours. So, uh, but let's start by claiming those 0.05. Once you have done this, I've already done this. Uh, then we can go, uh, actually you can claim these points. So don't forget to claim because once uh, this quest expires, you will not be able to claim. So just claim it once you see this button available. Now the next, next thing we need to do is get to the social parts. So you can click on more and you will need to follow a number of, uh, a number of Twitter accounts. Uh, so the first, all you have to do is click here. 
follow where chain. It's not opening again because I already click on that. Once you follow, you close that window and you click on the little cogwheel here, like this one, and it will automatically uh, green light you. So um, just click here. Then once you're done, then click on the cogwheel. Same, you will need to retweet a tweet. Click on the cogwheel. And uh, once you've done all of this, you will get green check marks the same way I do. Now, the next thing that you need to do, and it's kind of iffy, it's glitchy, is to have a role in the Vera Chain Discord server. So first you click here, it's going to open a window so you can join that uh, Discord channel. And once you do that, uh, it will ask you to verify, and that's where you will get stuck because um, the Discord channel is a little bit glitchy for the time being. So don't worry if you don't complete this in the same go. Uh, you can always come back and retry. So that's why you see this is not green lead for the moment. So don't be too concerned. Don't be frustrated. Again, guys, Galaxy Quests, as the same as Interact, are um, a little bit frustrating at times, but your pages will reward you. Take this as if it was a side job. Uh, this is a 30-minute job that might pay you, I don't know, $500, $1,000, or even $10,000. It doesn't matter. It's a lot of money for a little bit of time. So um, you will need, if, if this doesn't work for you, you will need to come back. Uh, then you click on visit the, the Bear Chain Docs. This will open a website that will uh, inform you of what the project is. And uh, yeah, that's information about the project. You don't need to read the full thing, but that will prepare you to uh, answer the quiz. Uh, now, these are the, the questions, and I'm going to tell you the answers so you don't have to read all that stuff. So first question, which type of novel civil resistance consensus mechanism does Barrett Chain use? The answer is proof of liquidity. So we're going to click here. Next. How do you earn BGT? You need to provide liquidity on the DAO. Uh, and that's basically it. So click on next. Which token is not native to Berry Chain? Of course, Bitcoin is not native to their chain. Click on Next. Berry Chain is built on what open source modular framework? So Berry Chain is FMOS compatible, but is from the Cosmos ecosystem. So you would not answer uh, EVM. So it's Polaris EVM. So click on here. And how do you get Berry on testnet using a faucet? Once you completed this, you click on Submit. It's going to basically um, just get you a green check mark here. Now, the next thing you need to do is drip Bera. You click here. Again, I don't know why this uh, task is here because we already were dripped. You already received 0 0.05 Bera by doing this first task. Uh, if you do this on a different day, you might get an additional 0 0.05, or you can always just visit the faucet, um, the one that we just opened a moment ago and that would give you extra 0 0.05. So let's continue. Uh, the next thing you need to do is swap Vera for STG USDC on their exchange. So you click here and it's going to open the decentralized exchange, which I have that page here. Now, uh, this is another thing, guys. Uh, the index is kind of glitchy. That's why this is testnet. I spent around, I don't know, a lot of minutes trying to see my Vera, the one that had been dripped. I could see them on my MetaMask wallet, but I could not see them on their exchange. So here's what I had to do, and that's why I always try to uh, find those hurdles to try to find a solution for you. And apparently this is really common, the same as the glitchy Discord. You will need to reload your website, this website, uh, several times. If that doesn't work, clear your, gas, your cache. Uh, delete those cookies and all that stuff for the last hour and then reload. It takes a lot of reloads, but eventually I found my Vera. So now I can click on Max. I'm going to exchange this Vera for use this one, this token. And uh, you know what? Let's not exchange all of it because then I won't have enough gas to complete the next, next test. So let's just exchange 0 0.01. It doesn't tell us how much we need to exchange. They want us to test this. So as opposed to the linear airdrop or any other airdrop, they are concerned about the amounts you're exchanging, exchanging, but not this, because this is a testnet. So I'm going to preview 
and I'm, I'm going to be told how much fake gas, this is testnet gas, and then uh, since I, it took a while, I'm going to have to accept the price change and swap. So I'm swapping now, it's going to open my MetaMask wallet, and I'm going to confirm, and uh, the gas fee is 0 .1, 0 0.016, so good thing I left enough gas available for this, the next transaction, for this one and the next transaction. So transaction submitted, transaction success. Uh, you could see the transaction on Vera Trail, which is the Explorer, but we're not going to do that now. Uh, we're actually going to click on this little cogwheel and see if we got the green light. We did. Now we need to mint honey. So for that, we're going to click on here and it's going to open another website. So I'm going to show you what that is here. And we have to accept the privacy policy and all this stuff. I agree. I mean, you could read it, guys, and if you're not in agreement, then just don't want to go ahead. But I'm sure most people won't read it. So now, again, let's go back to the Galaxy Quest. And we need to mint honey. So um, let's see how we do that. Give me just one second, guys. OK, first, we need to connect again, because this is a different website. <laughs> I'm going to click on MetaMask. It's going to open my MetaMask wallet. I'm going to click on Next, Connect. And now it is connected. I should see my STG USDC here. So I'm going to click on Max. I'm going to actually not Max because I don't want to. So let's put 008. I'm going to approve STG USDC. As always, you need to approve both tokens. So it's going to open my MetaMask and it's going to ask me to approve the spending of this token. So I'm going to say yes and approve. And now I'm going to approve the other token once this is completed. So let's wait a little bit. I'm going to approve infinite. Oh, OK. It approved both at the same time. So now I can just go ahead and mint. It's going to uh, ask me for gas fees. Fortunately, I left enough gas fees. so. Make sure you don't spend everything when you do that swap because you will be gasless and you will have to wait eight hours more to claim again that faucet. Um, so apparently I just minted this. It doesn't confirm, so give me just one second. So what I did is I opened the MetaMask transaction and it's approved. So as you can see here. So now I'm going to close this. And I can come back to the Galaxy page and I'm going to click, click on the little cogwheel and it's green. So that's easy, guys. So the only task left is have a Barra Club role, role in this Discord server. And at this very moment, the issue is that uh, there are a lot of people trying to get this airdrop. So the Discord server is saturated and says they're going to be adding another bot to help with the load. So that's why I cannot ver verify. I guess once you verified, you are assigned that role. So you will need to try a number of times in order to uh, finish that, ta that task. So guys, um, you just completed almost everything. All you need to do is keep going to that Discord server, verify and get that role. That's all that's left. And once you've done that, make sure you, uh, let's go back to the browser, claim your points. So as you can see, I can claim this 20 points. And I've got a lot of points. Hmm. Apparently, it's not going to be letting me claim these points because this task is pending. But you should have been able to claim the points for this first task. OK, guys, I think this is enough for this video. It was really easy. If you like this video, again, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel because we keep talking about airdrops, about making money with crypto gens and with crypto in general. So see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.